Hello again, this is BGFH. Welcome back to Illegally Sighted, and we're continuing our trek, our tour through the final version, virtually final version of Crater, the Crater Lake Tower City. Gotten through that whole side on the right, coming down those stairs, and we got through the middle section with the park and the city hall and the shopping center. Three buildings to go. I showed you a little tiny bit of this as I was just starting to build my hospital in one of the earlier videos, but now I'm going to walk you through the hospital as it is complete. So we walk in, we've got our reception area. This first floor is going to be like our clinic. Um, this There's essentially two different main wings to this hospital, and that's sort of how this is going to work. So, and there are several staircases, so I'll try to do my best to explain the layout of this and how it works. So, you got your reception, you got your people sitting there waiting for your clinic appointment. Over here, we'll get to that a little bit later. This is just kind of some more extra seating. This is going to take us to our staircase that we can go, one of our staircases that we can go up. And this wing <coughs> is going to be starting at our hospital side. This is more... This side of the building is going to be more for our operation rooms, operating rooms and stuff. So we're going to go back out to the clinic for now. And we've got just these nice little rooms here. Um, these are little, um, you know, clinic rooms. you got your little bed there. you got your desks and stuff. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I was trying to think of a way to do, like, the taller ones, you know, those stupid, those big, tall bed things where you usually or the tables that you're sitting on and they got that like white paper on them and all that um, but I just went with a bed to make it easier behind the reception area we got a little storage room or whatever keep your little records or whatever you know supplies you need in there down either side like I said we just got a whole bunch of these uh, different doctors rooms little clinic rooms here Got some beds, a uh, little bit of uh, bookshelves here. Got your sink, your all your you know seating for your doctor and different things, and just you know these are, they're just general clinic meeting rooms. And again, like I said, I've just kind of really used a lot of copy and paste, or well, just you know I find a pattern that I like and I I roll with it. So here we got another me uh, little clinic room. Now in the middle here, I kind of skip past a couple, but these are not really where you'd meet with a doctor. These are those little waiting rooms that they send you in. So they call you in, you think you're going to meet with a doctor, and you're like, oh, okay, no, okay, you're going to sit in this, or maybe you'll talk to the nurse for a minute, and then they'll let you sit in this room for five minutes or 20 minutes or whatever it is. So you just got like a little bed there, a little table or a little stand thing. And uh, yeah, that's so that's what is in the middle, just those little waiting rooms. And on the other side, I'm not going to go into all of these really, but they're, again, they're just on either side of this wing of the clinic or of the building on the first floor here. They're all just these clinic doctors. There are these little doctor's offices or whatever you want to call them. So that's what you have there. If I go to the back of the area here, we've got some restrooms, men and women's restrooms there. And here we have, like I said, trying to think of all the different types of offices that you would want to have. And right now we are in front of, in, our, in the back of the clinic, we have a chiropractor office so got your little seating area out here he's got his own little digs back here little reception and then in there you got two rooms back here we got some little shelves and supplies and whatever your little seat for him and your little bed for him to work his magic and whatever so there's your chiropractor office just a little small office there now I'll take you down, well, yeah, let's go this way first. So um, I'm just going to show you. 
because this building is so kind of complicated, it's kind of hard to say how I, the best way that I want to show you. So you've got another staircase over here on this on the right side. So either side of your reception, if you need to go up higher, there are staircases. And on each floor on this, on the right side of the building, on each level there are like little mini reception areas to kind of guide you and tell you where to go. So now I'm going to take you through this door that I originally didn't go through. We go through this other staircase. And we are in the operating wing now. So this is... These were tricky. I was trying to figure out how in the heck I wanted to do an operating room. So this is where like the doctor would come in. They would get ready. They would clean up, make sure that they're all clean and ready to go. Um, and then they can go out to the patient. This is kind of representing like the big operating table here. Um, you can just kind of use your imagination. We've got these little crafting tables, little computery thingy look, looking thing and then your table there but I also wanted you know where you have you know the operating rooms where you can where family can come in and watch so when you come in instead of going to the doctor's area you can go to the right you can go up a couple little stairs here and it's elevated so you're glassed in over here and you can sit on and, and watch um, you know or if it's not just family maybe it's you know you've got medical students in training and they need to you know watch what's going on for their classes and stuff so yeah you you have got your multiple multiple purpose thing up here but you basically your observation area and each one of these operating rooms has that so I really wasn't sure how in the heck I was gonna create those but I kinda got it to work just played with a couple ideas and eh, lo and behold it actually worked so I'm not going to go through these again. Like I said, I figured out a pattern and I went with it. Same thing up there. All these rooms are exactly the same. These are my operating rooms. Now these are also kind of little waiting rooms sort of thing. They're more, they're not clinic wait, waiting rooms, but they're maybe more advanced. So maybe you meet with a little doctor or it's a little prep room before you go into surgery or operation operating room whatever a couple of those and this wing you've also got a little reception here with some seating because these are separate from the clinic this you are on the actual like I said the operating room the hospital side so remember in the very first video and I said we had two entrances to our town to the city and I kind of hinted at it but basically yeah here's the center of the stadium building and I can go down right away into I can go down these stairs here and I even got the little cross emblem for my hospital surrounded by glowstone a red cross and the glowstone which I think looks pretty sweet fits really well I like the look of that but you walk in this little reception or this little area here and you got your reception desk right here or you can you know you can get people going in there so in addition to our front two staircases we also have a third staircase in the back one one of the back corners so we're going to go up to the second floor now and we got another sort of little lounge. Maybe you're waiting to hear how somebody's doing in the operating room. And so you're just kind of really waiting and whatever. Little kind of cool looking modern table design I kind of came up, up, up with just on a whim. I wanted to light the floor. And I use these little beacons and stuff. Looks pretty cool. Again, a couple of these little waiting rooms or prep rooms. Two of those there. Pretty identical. And we have more of the same operating rooms. Really, like I said, just I had I did the hospital part, like where the rooms are, where people stay. I had that part done for a while, and I was just struggling. I had these empty for so long because I'm like, how in the hell am I going to create an operating room with the tools that Minecraft has to offer. 
And I got a little bit of help with Jawbreaker on this part of it here, um, the actual operating table. A couple ideas there. But largely I came up with pretty much all of this other stuff largely on my own and just kind of ran with it and I think it worked out really well. So before, there's our another staircase there, our, our front staircase. We're not going to go up yet. Now I'm going to take you into the uh, hospital proper. But before I do that, I'm going to take you to... Yoink. Okay. The dreaded dentist office. So we're just above the clinic. Now we're kind of in the more general area. We're not in the operating area. We're back into kind of where the clinic was before, above the main waiting room. So you got your little reception area, some seating there, and the dreaded two dentists, ch uh, dentist chairs or beds. And that is your small dentist office. Circle around. Remember how I said the other front corner desk? We had our little reception area. So if you need to go, if you need to find someone in a hospital room, they'll tell you where that is, or you directed to the dentist's office, you can do that. Little reception area. Every floor has these. A little door to get back in here. Oh, there should be a door there, and there's not. I'll have to add that. Whoops. My bad. Wait, what did that? Okay, I thought there was something wrong with the glass there. So, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Okay, and then we've got a bathroom on either on either end, these little, these little tiny rooms here. And we've got just open areas for, like I said, people to sit down and wait for people, or, you know, if you got a whole group of people wanting to see someone in a hospital room, you get a couple people at a time, the others can sit out here. Or even hospital patients can come out here if they're able enough and they can kind of socialize with each other. And here is an example of a hospital room. All of these again, so I don't have to go into all of them and really show you around each one. All of them are pretty much identical. You've got your bed in the corner, your nightstand, your little chair at the foot of the bed. You got your private bathroom. You got a little couch there, and you've got a little table over in the corner. So, you know, pretty large room for a hospital room there. But I'll go down into one more here for you just to show you that exactly the same. Maybe just did some different pictures. <clears throat> so, again, it's just meant to be, um, yeah, they're hospital rooms. That is what they are. Another bathroom on the end. So like I said, one will be men's, one will be women's on either end there. And in the back on every floor on the hospital side, I do have tubs. So they're empty right now, but that's supposed to be like faucets. You got your tub and they're like a little staircase to get in them. Because like I said, the way Minecraft works, you have to have it's so deep for if you actually wanted to put water in there for it to actually make sense and I wouldn't normally make it this way but I kinda had to work with what I had to make it sort of make sense and for the people to get up there <laughs> if they're not feeling well you know you just have you can't just climb up really high so you've got these little stairs so you've got a men and a women sort of bathroom so the nurses can help them bathe if they need to and here we have, I believe this is the eye doctor, I think. Reception, waiting area here. Uh, yeah, okay, so here you get some eye tests done over here. And some books there. And then if you go back on this part, this is supposed to represent that little, um, like a picture. Actually, what I could do is I could put a sign I should do that. I should put a sign up there and have like the in the center have the big E and then have a couple letters down. I think I will change that. I really should. <laughs> but yeah, so you're sitting back here and you have to do your eye tests. So that is your eye doctor. So just like your your um, general clinic and your big hospital, you have all these little offshoot um, more specific 
types of doctors. So we're going to go upstairs again because we've seen all of that floor. And over here, uh, we're on the third floor now. And remember again, this is where we can come in again from the main stadium area. So we can come up here and we can go down those stairs to the first floor or it's pretty much level with this so you can come in to the third floor directly. And again we've got our cool little glowy cross sign there, big old emblem there which is pretty good. Alright, All right. so we'll head into, here's our big old big open area. And as I said, another reception desk. We are on the operating room side again. Some ferns or some plants there. Another prep room. One more prep room. So that's just following the same pattern. And then we have two of our, again, two of our operating rooms with observation areas. So there's our first operating room. Again, just like we had before. One more. There's our big operating room. Same as before. Everything is... Uh, so that's our ER, OR side. Got our staircase up there. Another way to get up to the next floor quicker. And another just area with chairs. Now this floor... And also one thing I haven't mentioned and I totally forgot until now. You notice on the floor there's always a different color of block. So this we got like I think it's a diamond uh, shape block for that kind of color. If I go over here they added recently in Minecraft the colored clay. Um, so we've got you know this kind of colored clay. I've used that in a few different wings but one of the things that I wanted to do consciously do in the hospital is I wanted to have ways to identify specific wings so you look you remember like you look out here um it'll tell you what color wing you're entering above the doors there are signs for the different wings that you're entering so you've got your operating uh wings have different colors and also your main hospital rooms area your res you know your patient area has its own colors as well. This is the cafeteria for the patients. Um, they make their meals here and uh, bring them out to the patients in their rooms. So we've got your prep area, your uh, storage, your dishes area, and then your furnaces. So and a, little, a few recipe things there and more chests. So that's your kitchen. And again, your other staircase on the front side of the building. Again, just as I promised, there's another reception desk. So you need to go <clears throat> get to a specific room. They can direct you where to go. And that one actually does have a door. So the one down below, I have to add one. And uh, so again, more hospital rooms. They're exactly the same. There's nothing different about them that I've... I purposely made them that way because that's generally how a hospital room is. Aside from someone's kind of personal effects that they may bring or family may bring in for them, they're hospital rooms. You got your bathroom, men on one side, women on the other end of the hall or on the end of the commons area. And I like, you know, one thing I didn't mention is how I did the art design here. We've got the red on the bottom floor and then on the next floor or two we've got these glass which I could maybe actually turn into stained glass now that we have stained glass to vary it up but I think it kinda looks cool as clear too um, but you know you're like I said people can wait out here when they need to it's just the same kind of exact design and I liked using the little pillars like the little accented using the staircases around the pillars on the roof there uh, we've got the you know the colored half slab stone there just to give it a trim on the bottom of the floor on every floor and then on the top you use I use around not only the walls but just around these pillars here 
the uh, staircases going around the pillars there, and they, I think that adds a lot of character to what could be, you know, you got this all white kind of building, which, you know, you kind of generally think of a hospital as white um, a lot of places, and that's what you've got. So more hospital rooms. Again, I'm not going to go into every single room, but the, you get the idea. On every floor, you get your men and women's uh, bathroom. I, I mean, as far as like actually getting a bath or cleaning up. Here you have a little gift shop. So we're a couple layers, uh, a couple levels up in the hospital. Um, and yeah, you you want to get some gift for someone, a patient staying here, whatever. There's some shelves. There's a couple of uh, chests there. There's a little reception checkout counter there. So you can. There's your little gift shop. And on the other side, again, just the same thing. It's mirrored. I think I forgot to go into these on the previous floor, but again, it's just the opposite side of the main area. It's just mirrored, so it's you know common, um, the same exact design but everything is filled out. Here's our other little staircase here, but before we go up, we're going to go back into uh oh yeah, actually okay, we start so we started there. I did the emerg or the emergency room, the other side, the operating room side. So that floor is done. We'll go up to this floor, the fourth floor now. I believe we're on. I lost track. And we'll work our way around again. We've got our big couch area. We're waiting for people if they are in their operating room. We've got our couple tables with the um, little kind of cool little carpet, kind of almost futuristic looking tables. Now these are, you notice this operating room side has locked doors. This is more of like a seriously sick ward. So you actually have to get, you know, this is more like the quarantine style or really sick area. You don't go in here unless there's something seriously going on. So again, these are all locked, but they're the waiting rooms or the prep rooms just like you saw before with the beds and the chairs and a couple little things in them. And you have your same operating room designs with, but again, there's switches, so they're all locked down because there's some serious stuff going on up here with the observation. But you really, you know, everyone who goes into this wing has to be, you know, special granted permission, or if they're public, maybe even observing or something, maybe they have to have special, you know, protection or suits or something. But this is the seriously ill wing. So you got your two operating rooms, your two prep rooms down there. And again, we've got a different, again, we are all, I didn't point this out early on, but we do have the different color. Uh, we're going to do this again. Okay, come here. Ha, I win. <laughs> but we have our different color wings here. So now we've got the gold wing here. Um, so we have all, like I said, all these different color wings. If I go back out here. Each wing outside has its little sign above the door telling you what color wing. So when you see one of those receptionist people, you can um, tell what it is. Now this is also locked because this is like where nurses and doctors can go for people, their patients in the hospital. They can prep their medication or, you know, they have equipment in here. It's kind of a storage prep area. For supplies and medicine and stuff like that so again all this stuff this is the secure it's up higher in the hospital oh give me a break get there we go all those things are secured so again you've got your reception by your front staircase on the right and your hospital wings or hospital rooms on this gold wing. Bathrooms on either end. You see we're getting to the top because we, we're topping it off with our red um, redstone and our brick again, so it's not just glass. So again, down both sides of this wing, they are just hospital rooms. They're all the same 
just different pictures and stuff like that, but all the furniture is in the same spot. Everything is the same. So, there you go. One of these rooms... Ah, here we go. Yeah. So, we've got the bathroom, again, like the actual bathing rooms in the back. Men and women, just like I said, every, every floor on the hospital wing has that because they don't have the bathing part in the private rooms. It's just they have those that part of the bathroom kind of deal in the back. Now, we're up higher, and... Um, here we have our shrinks or whatever, our psychiatrist's office. We have our reception and our waiting room area here. And you notice I went for the whole kind of, we're, we're a white building, but so far, so far, but this is, it's white. Um, we're using the kind of wood and kind of a brown kind of just chill area. So we've got a desk area back here for the person if they want to meet at a desk and talk. Or you've got your chair and stereotypical couch. Lay back on the couch, tell the uh, shrink what's going on, and pay them a whole bunch of money, and there you go. That is the shrink's office. So we're almost done with the hospital, but we do have to go up one more little flight of stairs to the roof area, complete with helipad so yes I was able to make a helipad I think that looks pretty cool got a little octagon shape there complete with our letter H with uh, torches all around to light it up and up to this point all of our hospital has been hospital things it's been you know operating rooms and patient rooms and stuff like that here, uh, on top of that, this is a thing I actually added later. This this whole section, this whole part of the building up here wasn't even part of the original design. Any of this top floor was. I just added this on a whim later on. And this is the actual doctor's offices area. So, public don't go here. This is where all the doctors and nurses and employers and businessy people... This is where they live. Separate from the, all the hospital stuff in general, they can come straight up here, up the stairs, and all of these are pretty much the same. We've got some desks, some storage, some bookshelves, and we've got carpeting here. Um, one of the conscious design choices I tried to do, at least for the rest of the hospital, I kind of made an exception here, um, which, you know, whatever, uh, but... You know, I tried not to put any carpeting in the hospital. I think the exception out of it is here and in the shrink's office, in the psychiatrist's office, because they had carpet in there, I think. But that is because, you know, like I said, you have a lot of sick people. You don't really want to bring germs. They can sink in, you know, they can get into the carpet and and that kind of thing so it's just you really don't want to have carpet and it's just easier to clean and like keep sterile and things like that so you really don't want to have that but up here I made the exception because theoretically this is a little bit off the you know the main path of the hospital so around the outside we've got bigger offices the middle the middle section is kind of for people that are here's a meeting room where people can go um, uh, doctors can meet or, you know, hospital staff can meet here. Just a different type of hospital table. I thought that looked pretty good there with that little thing in the middle. But the uh, offices in the middle are just a little bit smaller. They've got the little windows there. And then around the outside is meant for a little bit bigger offices here. Here's another little meeting room table with a U-shaped table in it. So we got that. Another, like I said, all of these ones in the middle are pretty much the same. They may have a little bit of different, tiny different layout, but largely the same. Um, 
you do have a reception area so if anybody is needing to come up and talk to like another business person or something needs to talk to a doctor or invited up to one of their offices they got another reception desk up here to cover that and to watch make sure that no unauthorized people are sneaking in and like I said all the way around is uh, there's no offices here because it's just the windows you just got the glassed in middle part here with the smaller offices here and finally this uh, section of it of the administration or the doctor's office area is just a little lounge I kinda of made this weird little red white and blue kinda of pattern that I followed with the gray car the gray wool or gray carpeting this red white and blue alternating kinda of squared pattern I think it actually turned out pretty well um, just giving it a little bit more character not just a bland carpet not just the same you know colored sides white middle carpeting on the floor kind of thing so that pretty much wraps up the hospital um, it was a really interesting building to do because I knew I needed to have like a clinic and a hospital and then I started thinking about all these branch offices of like okay what kind of offices do I need you know, I need an eye doctor. I those are the main. I mean, I didn't go every little specialist like you know, a, I don't know, like a foot doctor or a, you know whatever. Um, <clears throat> but I did try to get the major ones, like an eye doctor, a dentist, a, a psychologist, or whatever. Um, that kind of thing, and then the hospital, the operating room, all that kind of stuff. So it is a fairly complete or a fairly comprehensive medical facility in our build or in our city. So we have almost completed the tour. We've got two buildings left. We've got our the next one we're going to go into is right in front of us. Uh, we're going to go into the courthouse, fire station, hospital or not hospital. <laughs> courthouse fire and police station, and prison. And then the another cool building to wrap things up, our hotel, casino, and theater. So I'm going to wrap it up here for this video, and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Please leave any comments and stuff down below. Like this video. Like all these videos. Um, recommend some subscribers and stuff like that. Um, and until then, I will talk to you guys later next time.